is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. And I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there. I'll tell you how I became the prince of a town called Bel Air. Well, the next generation of Kiwi world-class dance talent is set to be discovered as the New Zealand Dance Company announces the latest of its seasonal training programs. Youth Spring School offers dance-loving teenagers the opportunity to learn from professionals in a six-day intensive program that will culminate in a public performance. Here to tell us more are New Zealand Dance Company's Caddy Rudd and 17-year-old Yvana Siwala, who is Manurewa High School student. Now, he is also the leader of the Rewa All-Stars Dance Dance crew, famous for their Fresh Prince of Ballet inspired performance that went viral, which you just saw there, and he was in the apricot pants. <laughs> uh, welcome to you both. Thank you. Thank you. Really nice to have you here. Yeah. Uh, Katie, let's start with you. You are leading the New Zealand Dance Company's Youth Spring School, so tell us I about am. your career highlights as a dancer. Cool. Um, so I joined the New Zealand Dance Company in 2014. Um, which was super awesome. I have been with them for five years now, and I guess some highlights for me, we do some amazing international tours, but we also do some amazing work throughout New Zealand with the community, meeting guys like these mm. people, and so yeah. Where's your favourite place that you've, that you've toured? Ooh, I do, we did go to Paris this year. Oh, oh it was wow. pretty beautiful, so yeah. yeah. So tell us about the Youth Spring School. Why is it something that New Zealand Dance Company sort of wanted to do? I guess it's an amazing platform and opportunity for aspiring dancers to experience a week-long intensive. Like it's a bit more than just a one-hour class, mm. one day a week kind of thing. It gets them to kind of experience what it would be like to have a, uh, dance as their professional job. Yeah. yeah. Now, Yvonne, you are, as we mentioned, the leader of the Mandarewa, the Rewa All Stars, yeah. and you've obviously, I mean, so many people have seen that video. I mean, it did go viral, which must be quite of a weird thing for you. How yeah. does it feel to see yourself everywhere? Ah, uh, um, for me, it's a blessing. Uh, I know for our crew, it's, um, it's, um, yeah, like you said, it's really weird. Um, we just put a set together just to, um, Throw it back to the 90s, bring back that um, 90s vibe. Because you weren't even born in the 90s. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but um, a lot of us, um, we really love um, Fresh Prince and stuff, so our intention was just to bring back something different. And when all of this happened, it's just like, damn, we're just blessed, yeah, if it, anything. Is it true Will Smith gave you guys a shout out? Yeah, that's, yeah. What was yeah. the reaction like to that amongst the crew? Um, I think we were all like shocked. I mean, going viral was like, wow, that was like, Wow, but then seeing that uh, Fresh Prince himself shared our um, piece, we're like, wow. It <laughs> does know, not like, get much better than yeah, that, does exactly, it? Yeah, <laughs> exactly, yeah. Now, you applied for the New Zealand Dance Company's Youth Winter School this year, didn't mm -hmm. you? How did you find it? Um, so, early in the year, um, myself and students from Monday High School went to see a show called Lumina that the New Zealand Dance Company um, performed. And myself and my mates, um, we just, um, we told our teachers, man, we love, um, what we saw, mm. we love the um, contemporary, and we just asked them um, if there's anything we can do that um, we can get involved in, because um, seeing that kind of stuff is real different for us, because yeah. we have a street dance background, and um, we just wanted to try something different, and yeah, ended up loving it. Katie, tell us what the students will be working towards with this one, with the yeah. spring school. Cool, so uh, this spring school's themed around the 125th anniversary for the women's suffragette movement. Um, so we're going to wor work towards a performance that's going to be held at the Auckland Museum on the last day and it's going to be a site specific performance that integrates the young youth of the uh, week and also the Feisty Feet which is our uh, senior dance company. So we're creating an intergenerational performance that kind of expresses that yeah the that is women's very rights. that is mm. very very cool yeah um, now for this there's financial assistance available to those who need it yep. uh, for the course as well how does that all work so uh, students that are really keen to experience this week that perhaps financially aren't able to do that by themselves can apply for a scholarship that the company will help sponsor through the Mazda Foundation. Mm. And they can apply by writing in to the company why, what their passions are, why they would love to experience a week of dance. And I guess it just gives them that opportunity. And it's, yeah, super cool. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. So Yvonne, what's next for you? Um, I am, what is it, week eight of term three. So I have another week of uh, term three, then my last term as a student. And then um, next year, hopefully I get accepted into university to study uh, dance. 
Awesome. That's what I want to do. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Yeah. I'm sure we'll see more of you. Thank you both for coming along. Thank you. Yeah. The New Zealand Dance Company's Youth Spring School takes place these school holidays. Now, for more info and to register, you can check out the New Zealand Dance Company's website.